Hi friends, Cameron. I want to talk about bitterness a little bit today. You know, the other day I was just driving, I realized that, oh wow, I have bitterness uh, against life itself. And I just share with you why I said that. When you walk with Jesus, the Lord will deal with the bitterness in our heart against our parents, if we had any bitterness about against our teachers, if we had any bitterness against our neighbors, spouse, ourselves, government, society, culture. And when you walk with Jesus, he will try to get the bitterness out of our lives, out of our hearts. You know, through counseling, I did a lot of counseling too. I was canceled, right? And because there are stuff from our uh, past that we, it's sometimes hard to let go of. We forgave, but it's still the bitterness was sitting there. I was checking my heart the other day when I was driving. When I realized I have bitterness against life, but I was checking my heart, I realized that as far as I can say, I really don't carry any bitterness against almost any human being. I can say maybe there are some there, but I do not have it. And when you don't have bitterness in your heart against people, you think I'm okay. But I realized the other day that, whoa, to a degree, I have bitterness against life, life on earth. And I tell you why. Somehow, I ca you know how you can carry how you can carry other people's offense, you know, stuff happens to them and you look at it, you said, this is unfair and you carry their offense. I've been there, I've done that, I carry other people's offense and got better because the way that they were treated. I realized that I have some family member back home, some of them passed away, that their heart, their life was very hard and to a degree, life did not treat them as well as I wanted life to treat them. And then I became bitter toward life that they lived, not against them. But somehow, if life could be a person, we talk about this later, life is a person. If life on earth could be a person, and just imagine if life, your life, became a person that stood in front of you, do you carry any offense toward the person of your life? That's a question. That's a good question. It's raining here too. Okay. How about your loved ones? Say your mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, anybody that you really love dearly in your heart. And you look at their life and you say, wow, the life did not treat them well, and they passed away. I can feel it now. I have some family member that they passed away and I feel that life didn't treat them well. And I carried bitterness against life. While I was driving, I said, oh my God, I carry bitterness against life. But then I realized, Jesus said, I am the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life, right? He is life, he is the person of life. Why do I carry any offense toward him? Because life is a person and your life is a person. My life is a person and our life is Jesus Christ. All that to say, if you carry any offense against your own life or against the life that other people lived, let's give that offense to the Lord and say, Father, forgive me for carrying the offense. I just wanted to share that I didn't know I'm going to get emotional, but I remember that particular person. Then we could breathe in and out and say, life, I have nothing against you. I have no bitterness and better root judgment in my heart against you. Because Holy Spirit is going to pull all of it out. And I'm sorry if I ever had bitterness against you, my life which now our life is Jesus Christ. I just wanted to share that with you. Love you guys. Have a great day or night. Have a great life, which your life is great, no matter what. 
your life is Jesus. Just imagine the life of Apostle Paul, the earthly life he lived, how much he went up and down, but he still, he was still madly in love with the person of Jesus Christ. Bless, I bless your life in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Bye.